Hey Breezers, how are you guys? Um, Without talking too much on the situation, I just want to thank you guys for like all the love and support and the kindness you guys are showing me. I want to thank all the creators, all the subscribers, just everybody who has been reaching out to me and offering me a kind word, whether it's in the comment section, DM, or I just see it. Like, thank you so much. Um, All I can say is I cannot cover Foodie Beauty, um, Missy Moo, or the other person for a while uh, for the foreseeable future until I take care of what I need to. And that's all I will say on that. Now, we might be the new home of Shani and Rev News. <laughs> We are going to be reacting to other people, you guys, um, and I'm excited for changes and new beginnings, and let's just make 2023 the best year, you guys. Let's make it the best year. This is our year. 2022 sucked. It sucked. I'm just going to be honest. It sucked majorly, so this is our year. I can feel it. Um, Shani and Rev need money again. So we're going to go ahead and watch this video. Um, it's on Revelation News TV and it's titled Trump and China are cozier than you might think. So we're going to watch this. I'll give my thoughts and then we are going to read some of the comments. Uh, here we go. What do you need money for today, Rev? I'm sure you're going to tell us. Hey guys, what's up? Rev here. Hi. I got a little bit of a uh, little something here for you. What? And uh, if you can... Because I'm without my medication, and it's been, it's been really bad the past couple of days. Um, if you could hook me up with $27 in my PayPal for some Delta 8, I would really appreciate This is so annoying. Why are you always out of medication? What are you doing with your medication that you're always constantly out of it? I know what I was doing with my medication when I was constantly out of it. And... um. Rev, I can help with $27, but I won't because I care enough not to enable you. I care enough to say no. No, you guys have to help yourselves. How about this? You show me proof that you're applying for a job, multiple jobs, multiple jobs. I, I want to see you apply for multiple jobs. And maybe then I would consider helping you out. But help yourself. And I know you won't take me up on this honor, off, offer because I see in your comment section all the time people offering you jobs. And you don't reply to any of those people. People saying, will you edit something for them? Make a thumbnail. Do this. Do that. Like really easy things and they'll pay you for it. But you don't reply to those comments. You just reply to the ones that want your PayPal or are just going to send you money without you having to help yourself. How about the day you come online and you show proof? You've applied for jobs and you've dropped off your applications. However, you can provide that. And maybe somebody would help you out with $27. Appreciate it because I'm just not good today. All right. So my PayPal. And he's going to give us PayPal. If you're not good today, how do you have the strength and the energy to make this video? Asking for $27. I'll say this again. I know what I was doing when I was always out of medication. At Rev Dude, if you want to help me out with that, it's 27 bucks, And thank you so much. God bless you. You guys, uh, you, pr you always come through, which is See, incredible. See, and <clears throat> he says that. Somebody always comes through. So him and Shani don't ever have to get off their butts and get a job. Okay, this might have to be thumbnail woohoo. They don't ever have to help themselves because somebody will always be there to enable them. So thank you. I just found something out, though, that's absolutely insane. Okay, what? so they released the, te the Trump tax returns and people have been going through it. It turns out that Donald Trump, on the same year that he paid $750 in taxes in the mm -hmm. U.S., and that's it. In the same year, he paid 200000 Was it 200000 or $200 million? It, it was some astronomical amount of, of taxes. Mm -hmm. he pay, I think it was $200,000. He paid to the Chinese government. Are you kidding me? Because he's got business dealings in China. That's Now we understand why he was so on the China... Oh my gosh, those of us in recovery. How many people do you know? Or do you remember 
that would get so high and just talk about politics nonstop. Oh my gosh, I remember those people. I remember those people. I have no comment about politics. Like, I am one of those people. I don't want to say I don't care because that's not true. It's just I'm not passionate about politics. It makes me uncomfortable to discuss them with other people. It's just not a topic that I would ever bring up. So I don't know how much of we're going to watch, but... Rhetoric constantly, China this, China that, bad, 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 bad. He had to pay, actually pay his taxes in China. Okay, let's skip ahead. Tax returns, seeing that he paid all of this ta these taxes in China, and also trying to set up some some Chinese... Okay. Uh, 27 bucks, and you helped me out. God bless you guys. I love you. Hiding behind that hey religion. Guys. I'm really sorry if anybody really wanted to hear Rev's thoughts on Trump and China and everything. Like... I'm sorry the video is still up. I just didn't think I could sit through two more minutes of that, <laughs> if we're being honest. But again, he opens with the, I'm out of medication, I need money. Let's talk about something, let's distract people. Okay, and then get right back to the point. If you could help me out with 27 bucks. Rev, help yourself out. Help yourself out. Do something for once. Like It has to feel like crap every day coming online to beg for money, right? Like It has to feel like crap. I remember an addiction like, Hey, can you help me out with two bucks? Hey, can you help me out with three bucks? I was one of those people in addiction. And I never once felt good about myself. Like, I remember not even wanting to look people in the eyes. Like, I felt so just ashamed, ashamed. And it's so odd to me that, like, you don't feel that same level of shame. It's like, for some reason, you feel like the world owes you and Shani something. I don't know why, but you have this chip on your shoulder and you just feel like you guys are owed this and you deserve other people's hard-earned money. You know what I would love to see from you guys? Go fill out job applications. Go fill out job applications. Come online showing what you're doing to change your lives. You don't think those kids want to have, be proud of their parents and say, my parents have, like, my parents are trying to support themselves. My parents are trying to change their life around. They deserve that. They deserve to be proud of their parents. They really deserve that, Rev. Like, it's just, I'm realizing right now, you and Shani are always me, 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 help us out, help us out, help us out. What are you doing to help yourselves and reunite your family? What are you doing to make your family proud of you? I don't know. We're paused at a creepy part. Like, I feel like Rev is staring into my soul. <laughs> this is a creepy part. All right, you guys, let's get to the comment section. I just wish, I just wish that they would want better for themselves. And like those of us, like I said, who have been through addiction and are in recovery, like part of it, it's so frustrating because you're like, why are you lying to so many people? Like we know we can see what you're really doing. We could see what this money is really going to. And the other part's kind of like heartbreaking that you guys don't love yourselves or love your family so much that you know you deserve better than what you're doing. Anyways, you guys, I hope you're having a great day, a great evening, wherever you are. I'm going to try and go live tonight. I have to see. There's kind of a lot going on. Um, but if we go live, I thought we can react to King Cobra's cooking videos. I thought that might be fun for a little bit. Anyways, let's get to this comment section. Um, I'll see you in the next clip. Okay, so Mary Me is up first and commented, By the way, stop e-begging for money for drugs. Not legal. Mary Me also commented, hey, Jason, Drag asked you only to go to the stop club, the stop club, not Shani. Drag doesn't want anything to do with you. Um, Shanta, nice, clean, sweet smelling woman. What? Not a filthy slug line. Sh oh, OK, well, that's what they said. Brat Brat said, of course, he starts out his video talking about being without medicine. His medicine is the meds he would get from a doctor that he refuses to go get. Stop sending these people money for gas station drugs, people. You're not helping them. Helping him would be encouraging him to go to the doctor and keep his appointments, attend those appointments, and get the script that he needs for a month or two. Not that his meds would last as long as they should because Shani takes Jason's meds as well. 
This is so pathetic. It's disgusting. I don't know how grown humans are okay with living like this. It's everyone else's responsibility to take care of them so they can have no responsibilities. It's freaking mind-blowing. Karma said, that's a no for me, dog. I hear you, Karma. Um, Crystal Water said, not even trying to hide the fact that you're a drug addict now, huh? I really hope that your uncle is keeping tabs on you on the blob and how you're begging and not getting jobs. In fact, someone should send this video to your uncle, Tommy. Yeah, thank the blob for giving out the name of your uncle. Cernian said, remember that app that people used to send you begging gifts on? Yeah, mine is clipped up. Send me monetary gifts. Um, Cernian said that. Cernian said, hmm. Okay, we're going to read this. Cernian said, you are an addict. You want to know what is hilarious? Shannon thinks she can just ask for and get a medical marijuana card. Ha ha ha. She thinks she could pay $50 and get all the weed she needs. Ha ha ha. No, even if she got her green card, she would still have to pay for the weed. You and her have to actually read the PA bill passed in 2016 that deals with medical marijuana. Look it up. Senate Bill Number 3, Session 2015-2016. Get help. Be better. Stay, stay, Rev. Stay. Cernian said, how about this? You send me $60 and I will send you $30. Or get an effing job like the rest of us. Um, CN said, this has to be a crime. Using social media to beg for drug money? Um, I am Bobby Tuff said, my thoughts exactly. It's bloody ridiculous. I am Bobby Tuff said, you're literally begging for drug money on YouTube? How is this even allowed? Ridiculous. Kaki said, seriously, what's wrong with you? Mary Me said, sorry, your uncle should see this. Begging for Delta 8 when you have at least state insurance with medical Medicare or Medicaid and Medicare? Liar! Delta 8 is not medication. Chrisley Girl said, nobody is going to donate money to your drug addiction. Delta 8 isn't a prescription, period. Stop saying you've been without your medication. Delta 8 is a synthetic marijuana. It's not a medication that a doctor gave you, Jason. Go see a real mental health professional. Stop lying and expecting your viewers or subs to support your master's addiction at that. See, if they're not really out of real medication and they're saying, oh, we're out of meds, like they need to knock that off because they're implying to other people who are just watching this or just tuning in that they're actually out of medically prescribed medication from a doctor, physician. So it's misleading. And if they're implying that, people need to ask, why are they always out of their medication? Why? Um, Corner girl said, did I see in the video Shani was reported to the PADA for fake cancer and begging for money for it? These two call Delta 8 medicine and beg for money for it. This will be added as well. Search YouTube, Shani has cancer. Look at all the videos of her saying she has cancer and dying. Oh, Shani, the DA does not need your permission for medical records. Your medical files belong to the doctor. The DA will subpoena the records to see what medical conditions you have or how many times you actually see the doctor. Your videos will also timestamp when you say you couldn't get in to see the doctor for months. Rev, yours will be subpoenaed also. I am sure whoever contacted your uncle will get a clip of how you spend your day begging for money for fake medicine. Remember videos of you both are out there. You seem to forget all the stories, lies, you claim that you're dying or don't know how long you have to live. Sucks to be you. Happy New Year. Let's look at these replies. Um, Mama of two said, yes, the PADA has been contacted over this scam. There was a lady arrested in PA 2019 for claiming she had cancer and collecting money. Telling viewers you have cancer and need medicine is a felony. All these lies will come to light. Many people are reporting with that being said, this most likely will be looked into with multiple calls and complaints. You are correct. The DA will subpoena all proof of said illnesses. I really feel sorry for these two. If there's no proof of cancer and other medical illnesses, this would fall under a felony. Um, the tour bus individual said, wait, what? 
Could you please tell me the name of the video you've seen? I haven't heard or seen anything about this, but if it's finally happening, thank God. You guys were going to have to react to this video. Hold on. Okay, well, here's the video. Shanster has cancer, she doesn't by Bran Riffs. Okay, you guys, um, we're going to be reacting to this video very soon. Very soon. It's an hour and 42 minutes. Yeah, okay, we're going to have to react to this later, but I did want to point this out. If you guys do want to check it out on your own time, Bran Riffs, Shanster has cancer, she doesn't. All right, you guys, I hope you're having a great day, great evening, wherever you are, and I will see you so soon. Bye, you guys.